I wasn't always the handsome resplendent being you see before you. <laughs> That's me. Uh, I had the red hair, the teeth that were too large for my head. I was short, I was skinny, I was immature, and I went to school in Barnsley. <laughs> I also had, what, 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 this, is, this is a posh accent as far as Barnsley is concerned. Um, so bullying was a bit of a problem, as you can imagine. Um, uh, bullying, it, it was a bear pit. Uh, <coughs> so I had to develop a technique for dealing with that. Um, my technique was uh, to be as irritating as possible to hit. Uh, I couldn't avoid being hit, but I could make it not worthwhile. Um, so I, 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 would, I would rip the piss out of anybody that attempted to bully me. Um, and on, on at least two occasions, I had lads standing over me going, you know what, Curry, you're not bloody worth it. And I'm going, that's the point. <laughs> so I, I built up a certain response to being bullied that maybe hasn't served me very well for the rest of my life because uh, I still behave that way, to be honest. Um, in 2011, uh, we set up the, uh, the, the Cheap Thrills Zero Budget Film Festival, which ha has been an absolute joy. And the reason it works really is, is, is the pits more audience. Uh, you, 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 loads of you come to Cheap Thrills, I can see the faces here, and um, you, you're a lovely warm audience, and you, you pack into that, that, that chapel in the cemetery with uh, no heating, very little lighting and uh, one toilet with a door that doesn't lock and uh, no sink and sometimes no flush. Um, and obviously we're not insured. <laughs> we are a zero budget after all. And in fact this, this, this one is very similar. Right. Uh, anyway, in 2014 I, I received an email um, and it went like this. See, Name, Richard Hooven. Subject, cease and desist. This film festival is in trademark and copyright violation. This is a polite cease and desist. And desist. Thank you. And um, I'd like to invite Frankie on, my eldest son. Yeah, this is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I, I, I felt that like I was being bullied and I, I looked up Richard Hooven and I looked up his film festival, and indeed we were in copyright trademark violation. I mean, his, 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 his festival had been around for longer than us, um, but it was quite a different sort of thing. He had to pay to enter it, and uh, there were prizes, and uh, he dealt with feature films, and we didn't do feature films. We did stupid little films about biscuit-based martial arts. So, um, <laughs> however, I looked at his, his email, and I realised he never specified which festival was actually in copyright violation. So I decided to reverse things and sow so, so the seeds of confusion. Uh, so I, 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 I wrote. Dear Richard, I looked at some details and it seemed you are absolutely correct. This zero film fest you mentioned seemed to think they have exclusivity over a concept I know is widespread. The word zero is in pretty common usage and there are lots of film fests. So as much as I sympathise with, with their having such an entirely unoriginal name, I hardly think this amounts to a threat. I think you'll cease and desist. However polite, should be changed to a live and let live. Their activities seem benign enough, and even if, as you assert, this festival is in trademark and copyright violation, well, their hearts seem to be in the right place. Indeed, I share many of their aims, so I thank you for so staunchly leaping to our defence, and I beg you not to worry. I am happy for them to continue in their excellent activities with their somewhat generic name, and see no reason to be a litigious knob about it. Thank you, Martin Curry. <laughs> We disagree. We take it very seriously. Zero Budget Film Festival, that's the first time I've used the word budget, is our business entity. We are based in New York and London. Get him. <laughs> Please consider this a polite cease and desist. The next communication will be from a legal representative. Thank you. Richard, calling our Zero Budget Film Festival a business entity is overstating matters somewhat. We don't accept money for anything we do, but you're right, we do take it seriously. As yet, we operate at neither city you mentioned, so I don't know where you got that from. Zero Film Fest seems to me to be a pleasant enough bunch, and I see no need to involve the legal professionals. I thank you for drawing them to my attention, but find your antipathy towards them puzzling. I, knew, I see no threat from them, and beg you not to get into such a foolish fight on our behalf. Chill. Thank you, Mark and Curry. <laughs> Try using the name No Budget. We take everything very seriously. We send these emails about one or two times a year as necessary. If you had used the name Sundance, you wouldn't have received a polite email first before legal action. Richard, I'm confused. Have you really sent these messages to the Zero Film Fest people? 
you really take everything seriously? This sounds like a medical condition. I'm beginning to worry about you. I'm pleased that you send these emails so infrequently, and I'm sure that you've told the recipients about your condition. They would understand. I find your suggestion that we use the name Sundance a trifle mischievous, so I think there's real hope for you. However, I cannot describe your communication style as polite. Simply stating it as polite is not quite the same thing. <laughs> We've already gone into your condition, and I suppose it will manifest itself in many different ways. Thank you. Mark and Curry. We will chill and not be a knob as soon as you have ceased and desisted in copyright infringement and are in compliance with the law. A formal cease and desist will come before the end of the week and from our legal representative in London. Thank you for your understanding. Will the cease be formal all the time, or will it relax once the desist arrives? Do they have any dietary requirements? Should two random words be sent back in reply? I'm unsure of the etiquette. I'm sure the Zero Film Fest people will be too. I am pleased that you recognise and embrace your condition, and aspire to be chilling in the near future. I think your story of gradual recovery is heartwarming. Can I publish it on Facebook? I am thinking of writing a song based on your struggle. I'll keep you in the loop as I work on it. I find your bravery inspiring. Maybe you can work on a little dance, but not a sun dance. Eh, you rogue you. <laughs> I enjoy our chats. Zero, hero, de Niro, it's going to write itself. Thank you. Martin Curry. <laughs> to anyone who is in copyright infringement of Zero Budget Film Festival, the cease, the cease and desist will come on Friday. Your response will determine the next courses of action. I've also sent the cease and desist to your website host. Thank you. Richard, I'm concerned you have adopted the word budget, your capitals, during this correspondence. I admit it's, it sits well amongst the other words that surround it. Indeed, that is the reason I put it there. But you can't go grabbing other people's stuff and claiming it is yours. I suspect this goes back to your unhappy childhood. But I'm not qualified to diagnose your overdeveloped sense of entitlement and instead offer my sympathy. Thank you for your informing me of the arrival of both cease and assist. I'll clear some shelf space for them. I'm sure they'll be tired after their travels to my host. I'm sure an, I'm considering a number of two-word replies, but wish to choose them with care. How's little dance coming along? Thank you. Martin Curry. <laughs> your host will be, connecting, will be contacting you shortly to remove your site. Clear, it's time to negotiate. The words in dispute seem to be Zero Budget Film Festival. Now I can see why you want to snatch the word budget. After all, Zero Film Festival made it sound like you had no films. And that's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, simply wading in and waving boys at me is no way to behave. You also suggested the word no. So let's throw that in there. I, perhaps unwisely, throw in the word knob. Now share and share, now share, and share alike. Neither of us can lay claim to film or festival, but fair's fair, we'll take one each. You seem particularly grabby about zero. I'm hanging on to budget. So if I get no budget film, you can have the other three words. <laughs> See what you can make of them. Sort it. I, 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 I thought that was pretty witty. <laughs> But all he, all he wrote back was, that would work for us. <laughs> <laughs> At which point I told him to get somebody to explain to him what he just agreed to. <laughs> um, however, I, I, I regard this as a victory for Richard Hoover in a way, because he beat me, he beat me through sheer stupidity. Um, so certain was he that he could write letters off to people and they would immediately cave in, that um, he, he just maintained that certainty throughout. And he saw my negotiation at the end as a genuine bit of negotiation. And he was just sort of confused by the rest of it. Uh, in fact, I don't think he even read the emails. I think he just scanned them. So I still have a certain, certain experience about that. And I feel that I haven't inflicted sufficient damage on Richard Hoogan. So, Richard, if you're watching, I think you are. Um, remember that little song I mentioned? Well, I wrote it. Are you going to sing it as well? No. <laughs> Strangely enough, I do not want to send a video of me singing a song to a man who's going to sue us. <laughs> you go ahead. Alright. <laughs> Children are harsh. Will you cease and desist? It is pointless to resist. I insist to comply with the law. And no, I will not chill until you bend to my will. My festival is bigger than yours. <laughs> Martin, don't you understand? As I wipe away a tear, oh, the 
behind all my demands, we are fighting for the Sierra. <laughs> and kind of, I might want you banned, but I, I'm, I'm reaching out to you, man. Don't you know that Richard Hoovens, only human? Richard Hoovens, only human. Your wit will do no good, ignored, not understood, as I defend my business entity. And although you confuse me, you cannot refuse me. My victory is due to my absolute certainty. Martin, don't you understand? As I wipe away a tear, oh, that behind all my demands, we are fighting over zero. So get off my naughty list. Just cease and desist. Don't you know that Richard Hoobins, only human? Richard Hoobins, only human. It's just an ordinary guy, you know? <laughs> and now I stand before all the people of Pittsmoor and realise that I'm bullying you. But you asked for it when you hit us with that writ and you're full of shit threats to sue. So send me legal letters that never will appear. Right? You ended up with all you asked for, a great big fat zero. <laughs> you aimed, you fired, you missed. Now cease and desist, you deluded fantasist. Richard Hoogan. <laughs> <laughs>